Hi, this is uh, for Jerry, who was kind enough to comment on my thoughts about Jay Livermore. This is m my view on the matter, and it's, it's not gospel, it's just how I see it. First of all, I always think, first of all, play your players in their best positions. Play to your strengths first. Always look to play to your strengths. And then, secondly, look how your strengths can A, negate your opponent's strengths, and also also attack their weaknesses you know that's that's the first thing it's just like a, a three-way th first thing place your strengths secondly look how your strengths can neutralize their strengths and third if you can then look to see how you can at the same time can you exploit their weaknesses and ideally you can do all three seamlessly at, at once much easier said than done what my feeling is and i've said this you know and i'm again look, maybe i'm wrong but i think to play inverse wingers only the the very best players can play inverse wingers. You know, that combination of pace and skill and intelligence, that cunning, which, you know, I'm not saying Gareth Bell can't do it. I'm sure he will be able to, you know. But me personally, it's a, it's, a, it's the kind of thing I'd do in a friendly. I wouldn't do in this, you know. It's the kind of thing, uh, you know, risk in a friendly, I wouldn't do in this. Sometimes you have to take risks. And sometimes the risks pay off. Pay off. Danny Rose... You know, Carl Walker, Carl Walker's goal. You know, you could, you know, take a shot. Yeah, you know, who knows? It may work for you, but I just wouldn't be comfortable with doing that. And I think Bale is much stronger on the left hand side. He'll hug the touch line. He'll offer Ben Matsukoto a lot more protection because he'll stay to that line. He offers a second line of defence by literally attacking. You know, by attacking their fullback, their winger is more is less likely to come forward. Whereas you know, if the, if the space is there. The winger will come forward, and yeah, you, and you get the fullback overlapping. It's a two on one. So that that was my feeling that if you play Modric on the right hand side, he'll want to cut in. That's just that he's yeah, he's best operating from the middle. Most you know, it, whether it's your Gerrard, it's your Van der Vaart, it's your Luka Modric, these players will want to operate. You know, they, they like to operate from the middle. You know, plays their strength. You know, if you see him, he does that lovely one footed pass. He you know the way that. Ball, ball is glued to him. He can turn a few players. And bam, quick pass. Yeah, and he he'll find someone. Ideally, if it was you know, ideally, unfortunately, our two right wingers, Lennon and Pienaar, are both injured, so we can't play them. And it would have been nice to have that width that say Carl Walker would have offered. Yeah, he can get forward. But the problem is, you know, we only had one defensive midfielder in Parker. And well, two, you know, two defensive midfielders, so Parker and Livermore. Parker's got great energy, great awareness, and you know, he's tactically very well. Livermore, probably not nowhere near there yet, so he probably won't have that ability to go there and know when to go. But if you say, look, keep it simple, your job there is to stop Gutierrez going forward, and your job there is basically every time Cole goes forward, you basically slot in and you cover his position. You know, because okay, he can long bus forward. If he can long bus forward, he can long bus back. Long bus forward with the ball, he can long bus even quicker without the ball to cover his position. And, you know, I feel like Kyle Walker isn't that great at defending, you know, cross from the byline. You know, that's something he's going to have to work on in training. And I think playing Livermore there, you know, he's not the best tackle in the world. He's not, the, he's not, he's definitely not attack his fullback. And he won't have a lot of things creative going forward. But that doesn't matter. We'll have Walkers to do that. Or what, what my feeling was that having Livermore on the right would have had, had the ability to enable that. So enabling Carl Walker to get forward, hopefully try and neutralise the strength of Gutierrez and Taylor on that left-hand flank. So, you know, that's, you know, had you met using, using his strength to uh, being defensive with the defensive tackle. Because he, he, look, we saw him hustle. You know, he can hustle players. He will get in their faces. You know, or as um, Sandero says, come in their face. Uh, you know, um, he will he, he will do that. He will get in. He'll get at them, and he will hassle, and he will have it. And he did that in the middle perfectly, which is what helped led to our first goal. Do that in the, on the left hand. You know, do that on the on the left hand flank. It you know, I'm not saying it will stop Gutierrez. No, Gutierrez is a very good player, but you know, it makes it harder. If you make it harder, they'll you know. They'll have to do the up and on, over, up and over, like the Hollywood pass, as I like to call it, or they'll have to. You know that requires. You know that a 
that is a, a in itself is quite dangerous. You risk losing possession. You risk um, not only possession. You risk losing you know your right to swift counter. So it just neutralizes them a little bit, and that way we play through the middle, which is our strength. Yeah, having Luke in the middle, bing, ping, ping, passing. And that, I think, would have been a very, very good option. And, and the thing with Van der Vaart is he likes to, you know, he likes to he, he, he'll drop back, but he also will drift. And he can pick up on those passes that, you know, when they are pinged from fire Luca, or when Gareth Bale likes to ping, you know, ping forward, you know, those balls from Luca that, when he's in that deep line position around the center, center circle, and looking at, you know, he, you know, he'll do his little dribble, bang, put a pass through to either flank. And that stretches out the pitch. That's just my feelings. Again, look, you know, I'm one of those, you know, I'm, I'm quote unquote one of the idiots that rings talk sport. I don't because it costs about two pounds a minute or something. But it's the idea that that's just, that's just my take on it. How would I deal with it? But like I said, it's not, you know, it's just basically because Lennon and Pinar weren't there. Ideally, you have Lennon or Pinar. They'll press, they'll attack the fullback. If the fullback can't get forward, you know, it creates, you know, it makes it harder for the left left winger to get forward. Okay, we don't have that option, and that's something I would have done. It's not, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, square peg, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's not going to be a permanent thing. It's a one-off game. Yeah, it develops a little more because he has to learn how to track players to stop them coming forward, how to shield, when to time it, and yeah, it will help him with his game, and also allows Luke to do what he does best. I um, hope that answers the question.